All right, you guys want to get into it? We don't even need an intro, just start blasting. Come on! There she is! It's our favorite! Olivia, it's been too long! A whole day away from my wife. <laughs> Christ, I'm so glad I found this five minutes before the stream. <laughs> it's too topical. Not even anything in this drink, man. Tricking myself into getting drunk on accident. No booze, no nothing. Holy shit, it's her. I can't believe it. Okay, for real though. Let's change the right category. I think we should just get going. One of you was telling me we stopped like minutes before heavy shit goes down, right? So what's new with you then? What did I miss the entire eight hours I was asleep from 2 p.m. until now? <laughs> Christ, man. I think, I think that bag chicken last night took me out. I think that's exactly what happened. I had the... Uh, most of you probably have no clue what I'm talking about, because the bag chicken came out at like 3 in the morning last night, because I was starving. I hadn't eaten anything since breakfast. And, like, near the end of the stream, it was just a chicken breast, nothing on it, in a plastic bag, and I was just sneaking in bites. Oh, it wasn't sneak at all. You're just watching me munch on a fucking chicken breast. I think that almost killed me, man. For some reason, I woke up this morning and I had this pounding headache and my stomach was killing me and my breath smelled like booze. You know, sunlight was hurting my eyes. I think I got poisoned by that chicken or something. It can't be. There's no way. I just can't imagine what else it would be. Weird, man. You gotta be careful what you eat. Get your chicken from a can, not a bag. Uh-oh. Oh no. You're joking. You're joking, dude. What? No fucking way. There's no fucking way. Uh-oh. What do you mean? What do you mean? What did I just do? An uncaught exception occurred. Are we so fucked? There was an update. If it's all screwed up. I guess it's not the end of the world, right? We can just blast through the lines. There's an update that they had to roll back. Shit. Did this happen to everybody else? Or am I just lucky? A lot of people had it happen to him. My art! We're gonna have to draw Olivia again three times in a row. Sucks. Now this time it'll be fixed. You fucking blow, you blow me. While I feel the stickiness start to unstick itself, I look out the window. How could I forget? My cool shades, right? Oh man, how's that? That, that does not fucking work at all. Now I'm just the guy from the beginning of Mad Max Fury Road. Fuck this. <laughs> what a day! What a lovely day! What this? Oh yeah. Yeah, great uh, teamwork last night. Nobody telling me my glasses were like fucking sideways on my head. <laughs> Let's make sure that doesn't happen again. I kind of feel bad for missing out on the party too, but I doubt I'll ever get another chance like this. With a girl in her her, her, her room. Olivia returns with a small easel, already set up with a half-finished painting. This game is so much longer, you say. I'm excited, dude. She takes a moment to shift herself. Shift herself. Say that one right. She takes a moment to shift herself from her wheelchair to the end of the couch right next to me. She's pretty close to me. I can feel her thigh barely brush against mine, but I'll try to pay it no mind. The painting looks like a bust of a nondescript dino guy. A dino guy? No skinny- no room for skinnies on that easel? Although with how vibrant those guys are, it could easily be a portrait of someone specific. This isn't... that good. She rips the page off and crumples it in her, in her hands. She's one of those. Hey, this sucks by the way. Draw, draw, draw. Dino cuck. She never draws me, man! What is it? She rips the page off and crumples it in her hands. Don't a wooga just cause we're brushing thighs, man. Starting over then? Don't interrupt. She takes a deep breath. The paintbrush nears the canvas, slowly and gracefully. Although it's clear her nerves are getting to her. Somebody's watching, dude, you're fucking up her process! Okay... Wait. Oh yeah, she did draw me. I'm the best. Olivia looks down for a moment before she jerks her head back up, her face gaining a reddish hue. 
Dude, why did you scooch so close to me? I... didn't? You're the one who sat next to me. Hmm? Oh. She looks away for a moment, realizing how over-the-top her reaction was. Olivia then does a double-take at me, her brows furrowing. What's wrong with your skin? You can't! You cannot! All the shit Anon got away with in Snoot Game. Not once was he gonna go anywhere near what's wrong with your skin. <laughs> the next time you see anyone who looks any different than you, man. There's a good icebreaker. What's, uh, what's wrong with your skin? I was born like this, that's right. Tell her, why are you white? Shut up, that's not... You know what? Yes, it is. But I mean, it's... Red. Oh, yeah, I, I think I'm sunburned. <laughs> Melanoma. Fucking sucks. As I look over the red splotch on my arm, Olivia raises a hand and touches it. Ow, why? Jeez, that really hurts? Yeah, it does. I didn't think to get sunscreen on the way over. There wouldn't happen to be any here, right? Point taken. But... There's some of those spiky plants outside. Aloed something, I think. Just snap a leaf off. M Mrs. Payne wouldn't care. Probably. I think I've heard something about that plant before, yeah. Alright, guess I'll give it a shot. Just start rubbing leaves on your head. That's probably how it works. I get up and head back out through the front door. Lo and behold, there were in fact a number of those spiky plants around. I walk up to the nearest one and carefully grab a leaf in a spot with dull spikes. Whoops, poison oak! I was thinking a cactus. How wacky would that be? It bends and snaps off pretty easily. Man, this looks about good enough to eat, but it probably tastes awful. Is it really good for curing sunburnt skin? Worst game ever, no MGS4 flashback when he says something about that plant. Hmm. Back inside, Olivia started painting again. About that day. Don't worry, gentlemen. We will play Shenmue 2 at some point. About that day. I'm looking for some sailors. Um... She gazes intently at the page. And the plate of food I'd brought in uh, had been cleaned. Olivia holds one last rib in her mouth like a cigarette. It, wa uh, it waggles up and down between her teeth. <laughs> Alright, she's waggling. I was once Chinese. When she sees me, she crunches the bone in two and swallows the last of it whole. I bring up the aloe leaf. Aloe is a great drink. I always see that shit at the store. I can't imagine what it even begins to taste like. Is this it? She nods and extends a hand to grab it. I hand her the, uh, I hand her the thick leaf and she extends a single claw. Once she catches the edge of the skin, she makes quick work peeling the husk off. You do that often? He's just probing her left and right. You, a lot of boyfriends you have? Gotta put sunscreen on them? Are these skinnies too? You don't do this a lot, right? Not me. Sophia uses it a lot to make smoothies for the family and healing salves for Vinny. Is it Sav? They're real pretty too. Olivia blinks, coughs, and grimaces in that order. <clears throat> to, uh, paint, I mean. Natural homemade healing recipe, huh? Gonna have to ask for that later. Could come in handy down the line. So can you just snap an aloe off the, uh, off the plant? Just chow down? Healing salves. Damien will check your, uh, humors and start the bloodletting afterwards. I moved, uh, I moved to remove my jacket so the aloe can be applied properly. Check out my back. Check out these back muscles, baby. But I don't get far before I notice Olivia's face turning a darker shade again. B back No! Uh... No need to remove your jacket. <laughs> Just roll up your sleeves and put the jelly on your neck. I don't want to see that. She hands me now exposed aloe jelly, all the while doing her best to not lock eyes with me. 
After rolling up my sleeves, I scoop out a dollop of the opaque substance. They're trying to trip me up with these fucking tongue twist ass lines. These tongue twister ass lines. You see what happens? She doesn't want to see your pasty ass body. What's wrong with your skin? The feeling of relief hits me the moment I spread it across my neck. Man, this feels good. I start applying more to my nose, cheeks, and most importantly, the top of my head. The top of my head! As I do, I watch Olivia continue her painting, taking extra attention to her brush strokes. Nice strokes, babe. The way she moves it down the canvas with such smoothness and gentleness shows her level of concentration. Not too rushed, but also not that overly focused on the art, either. Using the last of the aloe to cover my arms, I'm fully covered in the rudimentary remedy. I take a second to throw the husks away in the can- Oh boy, my tongue can't keep up. I take a second to throw the husks away in the kitchen trash, catching a glimpse of the party outside. Everyone looks like they're having a good time out there. Oiled up Inko. Except for Mrs. Sophia, who's currently trying to chase a very soaked Vinny with a towel. Back on the couch, Olivia's painting is starting to take a more defined shape. Unlike the cityscape piece, however, it looks more... organic. She continues to paint in silence, occasionally doing a quick glance at me to see if I'm still watching. Are you looking? Are you- Look, 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 look! I don't want to poke at Olivia for no real reason, but... This might just be my only chance to ask. Hey. Olivia? Mm-hmm. Your family, the pains, they seem like a... lively bunch. Dot, dot, dot. What's that supposed to mean? Like... I know Damien was eccentric, but I can see he gets it from the rest of your family. Humph. First of all, the Paynes are my godparents. Secondly, yeah, they are. So, how long have you known them for? Olivia pauses for a moment, uh, mid brush stroke, but then continues. Practically my whole life. Dead parents? Are we calling dead parents? Car crash? Legs gone? We're connecting the pieces right here, man. Damien and I have known each other since we were carpet crocs. <laughs> and his parents have known my dad since, well, forever. Since before we were even neighbors. Uh, friends of the family. Pretty much. Whole reason why I'm- <laughs> That's a slur! Carpet crocs, hold up! Whole reason why I'm living with them. Her muzzle clamps shut. Forget what I just said. The words were spoken with a tone tinged bitter with something. A tone I felt very familiar with whenever my own family is brought up. Sure. The only sounds left now are her brush strokes on the canvas. My focus turns back to the patch of blotchy red and pale acrylic oil slowly forming across the white expanse. Occasionally, Olivia's gray eyes would glance my way before going back to her work. Compared to the more rapid pace of time-lapse art videos I'd viewed, she was more deliberate with each of her movements. Pretty obvious, since most of these were done digitally. Another thing I'd not considered. Still, staring at the painting in progress itself, there's something uncanny about it. Tell her that. She'll love that feedback. Your, pain, your painting's looking pretty uncanny. It's now more formed. Definitely looking like something. I think what she'd really like is if you just keep trying to guess what it is she's drawing the whole time. One-sided game of Pictionary. Just every ten seconds. Oh, so, uh... No, that's the guy from third period, right? Cupping my chin with one hand in contemplation, I use the other, the other to try and trace out the peachy pale and vibrant red colors. Olivia looks back at me again, and a glint of something shines through her eyes. Hold that pose now. Yes! Yes! Hey! How long have you been using me as a layman doll? Her hand fails to cover up the snort that comes from her nose, followed by a gremlin-like cackle. <laughs> <laughs> Consider it the price to see my process. I want a refund. Hehehe, he he, nope. Looking again, it's slowly becoming an oil bust of my burnt face. Great, me at my best. Like looking at a mirror, eh? Can't you at least get my good angle? Red bitch, mm, nope. Turning back to see the... Mural do melanoma. We called it. Olivia starts adding in a blotch of cream by my head. <laughs> Sucks, man. Where are you gonna put this when you're done with it? I'm sure you're sure shit not giving it to me. 
A sigh escapes my lips. Hey, I said stay still. Why? And I'm not that red. Another high-pitched giggle <laughs> comes out of Olivia. It's called artistic license. Well, it needs to be renewed. Despite being the butt of her joke, I feel myself smiling. <laughs> must be the new sound from her. Uh, must be the new sounds from her. It's the first time I think I've seen her happy outside of uh, Iotacon's class. And yeah, that laugh of hers is kind of infection. I infectious. Kind of infection. The silence returns, though. The mood feels much lighter now. Dot, dot, dot. I feel so stiff right now. You and me both, baby. Ooh, at least you just came right out and said it. All right, at least I'm not alone. I don't know how long I've been holding this pose now. If I had the guess from the sunlight filtering into the house, it's been at least an hour. Mural du melanoma was almost done, and it was staring back at me with the most intense eyes. But I wear shades, babe. Olivia's attention was left on one final detail. She's gonna hang that painting in her secret goon room. Is that why she slammed the door in my face? The hand holding my chin. I'm thankful she'd finished the sunglasses first, because the reflected light from the sliding back door had been searing my retina. Olivia... Hush! She turns her head and focuses entirely on the hand held by my ear. Pupils moving rapidly to try and take in every last detail. Her fingers twitch as her hand hovers over the, over the painted hand. Her eyes are now shifting between my hands and my eyes. Her hand is now quaking, and a growing redness suffused her face. What's going on down there? The more she looks towards my eyes, the more her arm shakes and face brightens. Finally, she turns, uh, she turns away from me entirely, bringing both of her arms with her and away from me and the canvas. Just a blushing, uh, just a blushing woman. Okay. Okay. Her cheeks puff out as she exhales her held breath. Okay. Oh, she <laughs> Finally, she turns the cherry red face to the canvas and inspects the near complete portrait. <laughs> I'll come back to this later. It's you, it's you. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> Can I? Yeah, yeah, you can drop your hand now. Finally. I lay back on the couch, feeling my spinal cord pop in rapid succession. Yeah. Legit a good painting. Yeah, man, I went next. I said your hand. I can't. I attempt to stretch my arm out in front of me. And because of my stiffened muscles, my forearm is pulled back towards my face. I repeat the motion several times, the movement helping to ease the muscle until finally my arm doesn't feel spring-loaded. While I was busy trying to fix my arm, Olivia was packing up the canvas. Uh, that's about it. You can go join the others, or whatever. She drags the canvas easel and acrylic tubes back to her room. I wonder if she'll keep that one. It's almost poll time? Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah. Kyle, I mean, they that's took the words right out of my mouth. That's almost poll time? And I wonder if she'll stay in her room again. I'm trying not to do the Jason voice every single time you post it, because I'm gonna have to go through this VOD, and if I have to hear that fucking horn coming from my mouth, 20 times every hour. I already know it's gonna be gunned to my head, just I- I can't put up with it. Hmm... We've been inside for a while. I don't think anyone outside has noticed we've been gone. Vinny and Damien seemed to accept that Olivia would stay inside. But... Wait. Huh? Says Olivia. I've caught her a bit off guard. Invite Olivia to join you back outside. Convince Olivia why her family needs her out there. Now... I was just about to say, these are pretty similar options, right? I don't think so. Now that I'm reading the fine print, the actual constructions of the sentence, hold on. Let's give this two minutes. I, I think Kyle was hinting towards this one actually mattering. This isn't just the difference between drywall and soda. Let's go. Invite Olivia to join you back outside, or convince Olivia why her family needs her out there. Very, uh, interesting, huh? Snoot game taught you well. The fucking cables, man. Plugging in those cables, I cannot believe it. 
So what do you think? Snoot game was all about, you know... Fang was caught at these crossroads, she didn't know what she wanted to be. Eventually she came around, you can just call me Lucy instead, you know, I'm think I'm... I'm growing out of this phase, and... Meeting you, Anon, you really turned my life around. Are we gonna teach Olivia she doesn't need that wheelchair? You're not actually crippled, dude. Through the power of love, you can walk again. Stop pretending. The scene for the big Lebowski just pull her out of the fucking wheelchair. This fucking gold bricker, dude. I know a cripple when I see one, and this dude can fucking walk. You gotta think about the syntax here, the way it's worded. Invite Olivia to join you back outside. If I'm going outside, it would be rude of me to leave without saying bye, at least. She looks at me quizzically. Sure. But I think I'll try staying until the end. This has probably been the best day I've had since I've moved here. And my first real friends in a long while. I'm glad to have been invited. Dot dot dot. She's not leaving, but she's scanning me suspiciously. Damien's been a great friend, and his folks have been really nice to me. Better than my own parents, even. Do we get to meet the parents? Maybe, maybe don't answer that. Maybe I'm thinking out loud here. I wonder if we get to meet the parents. You're lucky to have them, I think. Or is it just gonna be like an Ed, Ed, Nettie type deal? Oh yeah, no, it is! They're leaving sticky notes everywhere, right? Dear Edward, please insert lint in the belly button. I guess. Good for you. 100% his dad's sunglass mogs him. <laughs> have fun with that, I really need to... I think you should come along. She freezes. What? Her eyes widen and some of the color leaves her face. No, I, I can't. Why not? Mr. and Mrs. Payne... They already have Vincent and Damien to worry about, and right now they're hosting all the other guests. Why throw a cripple in the mix? They got plenty to deal with already. I'm not worth the accommodations. Just leave it. Let them be normal. Even then, it's like I said, I don't have much time left. That's a little overly harsh. And it was every argument she had. They're the kind of arguments that come from desperation and guilt to convince herself it's for her own good. It's pain! Whack em! Maybe it's a little presumptuous, but... That's at least the sort of thoughts I've had reading notes from my parents, allotting me resources like I'm just an anthropomorphized mouth. You kinda are, man. Certainly doesn't mean uh, certainly doesn't seem like I'm worth it to them sometimes. But they're your godparents, right? They're helping your folks, yeah, but they chose to have you here. I've been sitting here playing a board game for five hours. Do you have me on mute on the floor or something? Don't tell me this is the only ambiance you guys have at a board game party. It's me, uh... Me talking up a gator girl. Because they want- They want to let you be normal. That doesn't... Uh, a normal part of their family, I mean. They just want you to be normal! Can't you do that? I don't think they'd have you here if they didn't want that. Oh, please, go on and tell me more about my own family. Her voice is sardonic. What does that mean? I'm not looking it up. She's not making eye contact anymore, but she's listening intently. It's better than looking at an error screen, yeah. This is all stuff she's known already. But you're absolutely right about one thing. You don't have much time left. I'm gonna kill you! I'm gonna... Neither do I, honestly. I'm gonna kill me! Neither do I, honestly. It, even if it's mostly because of moving. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you know what they say about Rolling Stones gathering no moss. In that way, we're in the same boat. Dot dot dot. Give it a shot. There's some perfectly good moss right out there. Dot dot dot. And another. Sigh. Okay. I'll try it with you. That analogy was pretty dumb, but you're right. You got the murder-suicide ending. <laughs> Lay sigh. <sighs> we gator on. The back door squeaks back open. Even with sunglasses, I wince at the sudden brightness. I want to tell you guys my hangover story from this morning. You have to remind me. I'm not going to break up uh, this moment we got going on just over a break or something. I take a step out and stretch my back, working out the last bit of stiffness from my shoulders. 
Olivia still waits at the threshold of the door. What are you waiting for, a curtain call? Here she comes, scooting into frame. With a grin, I draw the sliding door even wider, and with a beckoning wave attempt to usher Olivia out as if I were her personal attendant. Do you think it's offensive if I start wheeling her out? Like, uh, grab the handles? Cut that out, don't make it weird. Despite her words, the tone is more humored than annoyed with me. Relax, nobody was even looking. But it looks like there's definitely no more food left. About right. As Olivia rolls down a small wooden ramp I hadn't noticed, we catch Damien on the bottom step. Olivia? At the table, heads turn, er, heads turn towards us, looks of surprise etched on the faces of most of them. Instead of answering him verbally, Olivia's hand comes up in a nervous wave. The rest of the party resumes their prior discussions, although maybe a bit livelier than before. Hey, cool to see you out here again. Hey Damien, why are you all the way over here for? I can't stand to be by Liz's uncle when he's eating. He's got those... Fibrous teeth, ugh. Like blue whales have? Yeah, freaks me out. His dentist must make a fortune. Huh, <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey Olivia, what are you doing back out here? You forget something? No, I just... I just thought it'd be good to enjoy the weather while, while it lasts. Damien perks up with his frills undulating. Yuck, yuck. Did your hangover story involve a gator? I could throw one in there. If- if that's what it takes for you to not get bored and pay attention to my story, I could, you know, switch a few details around. Damien Pog. No, Damien, stop that. Olivia quivers as Damien's grin grows wider, and frills start moving faster. Gross! You stop it! Even I'm getting unnerved by how those things move. Damien! Sorry, you know, these things got a mind of their own. Finally, those weird flaps still. He's gonna spit! <laughs> Dude, you were just complaining about Mr. Ferris and his teeth. At least he- at least he can keep his mouth shut. Hey, hey, I could always wear a beanie. No, you can't. Remember the last time you tried? Both Damien and Olivia share a laugh over some event they're privy to. I, I'm in the conversation too, what are you guys laughing about? No, 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 no. So I was drinking one night and I fucked the gator. Yeah, I'll start working on my fake story. When they finish, Damien asks the million dollar question. You guys fucking or, uh... So, you gonna join in or...? She turns her head my way, and I give her a supportive thumbs up. Yeah. Damien finally stands from the step and we all start heading for the table. Each party goer greets us when we approach. The loudest from... Lily! Hey, 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 hey! You finally came to play again! Yeah! Wow! The rum. <laughs> it's just a cool cat voice. Don't do that anymore. It's just a cool cat voice. The rambunctious boy hoots and hollers as he bounces in circles around her. Olivia huddles her arms and looks aside in my direction, feeling the stares from the table. <laughs> I give her a reassuring thumbs up. That's so cool, Olivia! Whoa, you shouldn't answer texts from strangers! Actually, this is perfect. Thank you, Vinny. Uh, this is Olivia's- This is something Olivia's able to give, when she was so worried about just taking. Yeah, where was Cool Cat for, uh, Snoot Game Ending 1, right? I hope she goes for it. Uh, I, I'm a little tired, Vinny. What? No! Come on, Livy, you promised we'd play today! Yeah, like old times. I please. Oh, all right, all right. You win. I did promise. You want to play cannon then? Yeah, 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 cannon, yeah. All right then. Ready? Round loaded. Fire. Can you tell my throat is still shredded from yesterday? Oh god, this was a bad idea. Woo! Yeah! Round of applause. Toss the child, kick the baby. Daddy Derek forbid Cool Cat from appearing in Snoot Game. Uh, whistle sound from Randy. Fwee. Uh, Sophia says, Randy! Ah, relax, Soph. Vinny's still young. Michael, Vinny, be careful! I'm okay, Mom. 
Whew, have you gotten stronger, Olivia? No. Shut up. God. 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 It, it, it has to show her, like, we peek into her fucking bedroom when she's not, uh, when she doesn't notice. She's just pumping fucking iron. That's all she's doing back there when it's not art. Olivia, you're just always in your room, dude. You only come out to eat, like, steaks and shit. She's in there, oh my god, getting shredded. Look, if my legs don't work, my arms sure as shit will. N no, shut up. Anyway. Can we do it again, Levy? Olivia smiles and pats his head. <laughs> oh, she's sculpting all right. Sculpting these guns. It's- it's not like I've been lifting for you, Inko b b baka it's weird saying it, but as she readies Vincent for another launch, the gator girl has a bright, toothy smile I never thought she had. Uh, Mr. Payne? <laughs> wow, well, Alright, I get it. Vincent! Yeah, Dad? No more cannon today. Olivia and Vincent share a disappointed look. Shit! Now, now, there's a lot more things you two can do. Vincent perks up and immediately rushes off. Oh, 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 I know! Olivia turns back to the rest of the group with an uneasy smile. Mrs. Payne steps forward. Please don't talk, Mrs. Payne. I can't do your voice. She steps forward, her hands held up and wavering. Olivia? Uh, hi, Auntie. Mrs. Payne and her husband approach, both with nervous smiles. When she speaks, it's with certain restraint, holding her, its, er, her excitement back. As though worried if she showed too much... Just, it, oh, try again! <laughs> As though worried if it showed too much, she'll change her mind and go back in. I didn't miss much, right? I'm so glad you came out, dear! The older woman kneels in front of her and wraps her arms around Olivia. Oh, hit the, uh, hit the aww button we have in chat. Hey, it's been too long, little ace. Randy's hand ruffles her hair, while his other arm also encircles both Olivia and Sophie. And while Olivia does her best to avoid his palm- <laughs> Great, perfect! Yeah! <laughs> a I can see the t I can see the tiny smile on her face. <laughs> I just feel you Time seemed to pick up speed after Olivia had come out. Damien and his father returned to the grill, managing to prep and cook a final serving of meaty goodness for an early dinner. I decided I could go for seconds, and a few scraps of this and that. I nearly drop my food when I get a rough pat on the shoulder from behind. It's Mr. Payne! Whack him! He looks down at me with a thankful smile. Mrs. Payne and Mr. Ferris had continued their conversation till Mr. Ferris's throat ran dry. You're telling me, dude. And the rest of us had to contend with a hyperactive child with an armory of foam dart guns. I knew a girl who used a bunch of guns. I felt bad for Liz. She'd become a one-woman shooting gallery for the boy. Oh, Wolfman, you just showed up in time. Olivia's coming out and hanging out with the family. And Olivia. And me. And Damien, but at least he looked apologetic about it. But now things are winding down. The food is officially all gone. Time to go! Everyone's exhausted physically and mentally. I'm not picking my nose. I'm going full terminally online. Got two streams going on two different platforms. You, you're watching other streamers? And yet, thoroughly satisfied emotionally. You! Olivia pads by me, having returned to the pool to cool down and stretch out. That's right, baby, stretch on! That's right, baby, stretch on! This is what we've been waiting for! It's game time, boys! Ooh, I love my life! <sighs> there was just one last thing to really cap this off. Who cares? I care. I care. Okay, everyone. I hollered to everyone currently on the deck, grouped up nicely for me. Did he just say I love my life? Looking through- <laughs> why, why did that come out of my mouth? Looking through the viewfinder of my propped up camera, I adjust the focus to ensure everyone's captured perfectly in the shot. Look, we all got caught up in the moment. Alright, on three, give me your biggest smiles. One. Wait! 
Olivia turns away from the camera, looking towards Damien. With a grin, Damien waves for me. Dude, you gotta be in this too! There's nods and words of agreement from everyone. Well... It's been a while since I've used this mode, so why not? <laughs> Setting the time delay, along with the sports mode, I'm sure with ten rapid succession shots, at least one of them will be perfect. <laughs> How did I ever miss Vinny's fucking hype beast pose, dude? He broke out the gold chain, iced out for a fucking family photo. And I can always do some post-production on it, too. Ensuring that the focus is still fine, I click this, uh, the shutter button and keep the count in mind. 30, 29, 28, go, 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 go! By 13, I've settled myself next to Damien and above Olivia. Alright, 9, 8, 7. Look at him mogging that fucking camera. I feel something wrap around my ankle and press against my back on four. You bitch, you bitch! You bitch, three, two, one, ah! You've killed me! My camera flash goes off ten times as I'm pushed over by Damien and pulled into the pool by Olivia. I'm going home, I'm going home, I don't want to be here anymore! <laughs>